You ever get a new toy and you just have so much fun playing with it that it just motivates you to keep playing and just practice more? This is that toy for me. Oh, you're, what's up everyone? You know why we're here today. It's finally time for a full demo and review of the Pearl Emerge electronic drum kit. This thing is effing amazing. Let's get right into it and start with the pads. Pearl actually partnered with Korg for this whole kit. So these drums use the same wave trigger technology as the Korg wave drum. Basically each drum has a pressure sensor and multiple pickups. It's not just one little piezo sensor. So in easy Bahi terms, that means these pads are extremely accurate. This makes triggering drum samples a lot smoother and latency is pretty much non-existent. And since the whole drum is a sensor, we even get a difference in tonality playing near the rim of the drum versus the center of the drum. Of course we have rim shots and cross sticking. And as for the heads, these are six ply heads. They actually kind of feel like a cross between mesh and rubber. They're not super bouncy like most mesh heads are, they actually feel pretty damn close to acoustic heads. And of course you can change the feel if you want by tightening or loosening with a drum key around the edges. For sizing we have a 14 inch snare, the toms are 10, 12, and 14, and the bass drum is 18. There's a wide trigger pad inside the bass drum so you can use a single or a double pedal, and it also comes with this optional felt strip that you can put in front of the pad inside the drum if you want to soften the feel even more. For cymbal pads we have a 14 inch hi-hat, 15 inch crash, and an 18 inch ride. The crash and hi-hats are both dual zones, so we get the bow and the edge. And the ride has three zones, bell, bow, and edge. And yes, they can be choked, of course. The choke function on these is actually really unique because instead of just cutting off the sound when you choke it, these immediately trigger a natural harmonic ring that you actually hear when you choke a real cymbal. But I love how the drums and cymbals are different sizes. It really makes it just feel good moving around the kit. So much better than when the drums are all the same size. And for the hardware, you really can't ask for anything better than one of their drum racks. This is pretty much a more compact version of the Icon rack that I've been using on my acoustic Pearl kit for the last 15 years. And like I said in the unboxing video, you can use pieces from here over there or pieces from there over here. You can interchange whatever you want. I might actually do a crazy hybrid setup eventually with these two kits, so uh, you should probably be excited for that. And now for the brains of the operation the module. For all you noobs out there, the module is what powers the kit and this is what has all the different sounds on it that we can play using the pads. It's got 35 different drum kits in here and you can make up to 50 of your own customized kits. There's a really nice variety of sampled Pearl kits in here that they recorded in a huge studio in Nashville, Tennessee. And there's also some electronic, world percussion, and orchestral sounds in here, courtesy of Korg. But if you're tweaking your own custom kit, there's 700 instrument sounds to choose from. That's crazy. So when you look at the module, the first thing your eyes are really drawn to are these buttons right here and these are the groups of different drum kit sounds. We have seven preset groups and then the user group where you can store all your custom kits. This one sounds really good.
This one's called surfacing, what? We gotta try some double bass too, right? Sandman? Uh-oh. That is so cool. Ha <laughs> power ballad. Ooh, drum and bass. Eighty sim. Does that sound like a Simmons kit? All right, let's check out some of the uh, the world sounds here, huh? Havana? Actually, I think we can try this with our hands. Holy crap. So this module is very simple. It can be used by pretty much anyone and there's not an unnecessary amount of bells and whistles, if you will. Even better, you can record up to 12 hours of your own playing right onto the module. And if you're jamming along to music on here that you have plugged in externally, you can record the music and your drumming if you want. So technically, if you wanna make drumming videos on this thing, you don't even need recording software if you don't want it. Just record the audio on the module, then export it to your computer and then match it up with your video. BAM! And another thing I really love on here is this ambience slider right here. When they were recording these drum samples, they also used room mics for even more ambience and you can control how much ambience you want just by moving this slider. All right, so uh, what do you say we uh, make a little customized kit here, yeah? Since we can have different sounds on the rims of the drums, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more cymbals. What can I say? I like a lot of cymbals because uh, I'm Bahi. So let's find a preset that I like already that I want to customize further. Let's, uh, let's go with Sandman, yeah? You know I love those thunder toms. And there's lots of things we can do in here just besides change the sounds. We can change the instrument level, the, the transposing, we can tune it, decay, panning, add compressor, EQ. 36 different kinds of effects in here. Right now we got plate reverb on, but uh, let's just add some cymbals for now, yeah? So let's put a splash over Tom 1, do a crash on Tom 2, and how about a china on the rim of Tom 3? I love this thing. I think I'm gonna do some live streams with this kit too. It's, uh, it's pretty fucking awesome. Oops, excuse my language. All right, thanks for watching. I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.